A Santa Fe man is among the top contenders in a worldwide contest. Who can get the best video using a remote controlled drone no bigger than a shoebox? The video he shot is gaining lots of attention, and you might be amazed by how he shot it. Spectacular scenes of the Cumbres and Toltec Scenic Railway in Chama, New Mexico. Video taken from high above and close to the train. How do you get video like this? It's the work of a small drone. I call it a drone. It's really, and that's a, a great catchphrase. It's really not a drone because it can't fly autonomously. Luke Fitch uses a remote control to guide his drone that's equipped with a small GoPro camera. Fitch runs a Santa Fe production house and shot this video two weeks ago. It's one of more than 500 entered in a worldwide contest sponsored by the maker of the drone. The scenery, the, the mountains, they had just, there had just been a lot of rain, so we were fortunate that everything was as green as it's probably gonna get this year. Um, the train is a perfect subject. The drone even captured video of us during our interview and a view of the city as it took off. Fitch says drones could get some amazing shots for movies without spending a lot of money. This setup was under $1,000. In the future, it's going to be common for entire movies to be shot with these types of, I think, robotic aircraft. But right now, Fitch is not allowed to sell any of his video taken from the drone. The FAA doesn't allow drones to be used for commercial use. And it's looking at how to address safety and privacy issues. Fitch is hoping the laws change soon. Anything goes, and that includes putting a camera on and flying over your neighbor's property. So right now, the law that prevents us from doing this as a business is not protecting anybody's privacy. Now, if Fitch wins the contest, he'll win a new drone and more high-tech equipment. Videos are ranked by likes on YouTube. We've put up a link so you can vote for the New Mexico video. Just go to KRQE links on KRQE.com.